شہد اللہ اللہ لا الہ الا ہوا اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی از ہم سیلف وٹنس ہی ٹیسٹیفائز دیٹ دیر از نو گاڈ ایکسیپٹ ہم ہو کون بی ہو کین بی بگر وٹنس دین اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہم سیلف شہد اللہ اللہ ہم سیلف از وٹنس ٹو ایٹ ہی ٹیسٹیفائز دیٹ از نو گاڈ ایکسیپٹ ہم ول ملائکہ تو and all the angels testify ulul ilm and from among the human beings who have the real knowledge they also testify qaim bil qist he is the upholder of equity and justice he is controlling this universe this existence with just balance la ilaha illa huwa al aziz al hakim there's no god except him and he is al aziz again the same two attributes al aziz all powerful all mighty but all wise also his wisdom is also complete inna deena indallahi al islam the only deen now let me tell you here in all the translations you will find the word for deen religion this is not the correct correct explanation but we don't find any word you know that can give the real translation of the word deen religion has a very limited connotation religion consists of only three things some dogma some modes of worship some social customs that's all it has to do nothing with the politico socio economic system that's all important the most important thing you know for all human beings is the political social economic system whether it is based on justice fair play equality fraternity or whether it is based on repression or exploitation or discrimination so actually the more important thing is the system the political social economic system so deen actually consists of all these six things there is a talk about deen also tawhid risala baad then modes of worship are also there then rites and rituals are also there the social customs are also there but it has a social system of its own it has a political system of its own it has an economic system of its own so it's an all comprehensive all embracing phenomenon but i don't find one word in english language which can give the connotation and express the full meaning of the word deen in the deen in the law of islam now the translation will find everywhere the only religion that is acknowledged by allah subhanahu wa taala is islam but you must keep the word deen just as i told you in the very beginning i cannot use any word in the place of aya aya is aya we we don't have any other word to replace for its translation surah is surah it's not chapter in the same way deen is deen we can't translate it in the deen in the law of islam the only deen acceptable to allah subhanahu wa taala acknowledged by him is islam wa maqtalaf alladheena utul kitaba illa min baad ma jaahum al ilm baghyan bainahum and to those people who we give the book we gave the book before they didn't differ but only after the real knowledge had come to them we had sent them the torah and we had given them the knowledge but still they, dif- they differed among themselves the light was there they were not in the darkness but still you know they didn't avail of the light that allah subhanahu wa taala has provided them and what was the reason baghyam bainahu out of jealousy among themselves and this baghyan you know actually i translated it last night also the earth to dominate is adler's view that the very potent motive in, in human beings is the urge to dominate everybody wants to dominate others and this is the reason and cause of the conflict so they want to dominate each other and due to this urge of domination and this jealousy among themselves they have been differing with each other so may yakfur bi ayatillah and now that the clear signs of allah subhanahu wa taala have again been sent to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now who serve among them he denies these ayat of allah subhanahu wa taala find allah sari'ul find allah sari'ul hisab so allah subhanahu wa taala is very swift in reckoning he will take no time find hajuka 
and now if oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam these people argue with you they dispute with you faqul tell them in unequivocal terms aslam tu wajhi lillah wa man ittaba'ni i have surrendered myself my whole personality to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not only myself but all those people who are following me we have surrendered we have submitted wa qul lil ladina utul kitab wal ummiyin and now ask those to whom the book was given before the new the christians wal ummiyin and also those who no book was given the pagan arabs of of the arabian peninsula ask them both aslam tum do you also surrender do you also agree to submit to the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa in aslamu if they surrender if they submit faqad ihtada they have they have the guidance now they are guided they are on the path of guidance wa in tawalla and if they turn away fa inna ma alayk al bala then your duty was only to convey to them where so you are not responsible for bringing them to the right path it's not in your power and it's not your responsibility this burden has not been put on your shoulders neither its power has been given to you your duty is to convey the message once you have done it you have done your job now it's up to them whether they want to accept and respond positively or they want to refuse wallahu basirun bil ibad but whatever they do allah subhanahu wa taala sees who is turning away and whose heart had confirmed that this is correct allah knows just as we read in surah al baqarah ya'rifunahu kama ya'rifuna abnahum these jews he have recognized muhammad and this quran just as they recognize their own sons there's no doubt about him in their minds but still they are not ready to accept they are not ready to believe allah wallahu basirun bil ibad allah very well knows his bondsman 